So just a quick message before we start the video, I have a Discord server now, so you can interact with me and other redstoners from the community and share your redstone builds. I'll also be putting all of my world downloads on there from now on, so they're all in one place. I've put the server invite in the description, so feel free to join. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. 3x3 spiral doors are nothing new. So purple, why are you making a video about one then? Well, take a look at these two designs. This one was made by Mumbo, and this one was made by my friend Quipler. And while these are very good designs, they both have the same problem, and it's to do with the door animation. Do you see it? Not every piston is firing one tick after the previous one. When the doors close, it takes a while for the side pistons to start closing, and when Mumbo's design opens, the last block retraction happens way after the last side piston, so the spiral effect isn't quite perfect. Now, if you're a sane person, then you probably won't care all that much, but if you're like me and you obsess over these minor details just a little too much, then you'd want to fix this problem. And I am just like me, so I set out to fix that problem I just said I would fix. So I logged onto the Synergy server and teamed up with Pixie Blocks to build the best 3x3 spiral door. And here it is. The first thing you'll notice is that it's extremely small. It's actually the same size as Quipler's, but more importantly, it has a perfect spiral. The side pistons start moving exactly one tick after the first block moves, and the last block retraction is exactly one tick after the final side piston. The second block to come out the ground is even synchronized with the top middle piston. Ugh, it's just so perfect. So now that we have the best 3x3 spiral door in all of Minecraft, it's time I showed you how to build it. These are the resources we'll need. We'll need 11 sticky pistons, 1 regular piston, 8 redstone dust, 3 redstone repeaters, 20 observers, 2 note blocks, and a redstone lamp. So we'll start off by digging a 2x7 trench that is 3 blocks deep. You have a double extender in the middle at the back row, and then directly on top of that sits your door frame. Then you have a storage piston on the left here. Then we have two sticky pistons facing inwards on either side, and then three sticky pistons at the top facing downwards. And this green block down here is where the input will be. The first step is to build the closing circuit. So first we place a piston here on the side of that block, and then an observer facing towards this piston like this, with a block in front like that. Then we come around the back, place an observer on the side of that piston, and then we make an observer chain like this, redstone dust there, and then two more observers like this. Now if we put a lever on the input block, we can see that this gives us the closing and part of the opening. So now we can just move this block back to where it was, and we'll wire the double extender. So now we place a sticky piston under this block facing to the right, and then we come around the back, leave a one block gap, and then put an observer facing this way. And if your door is open, then there should be a gap between here, and when it's closed, this sticky piston will pull the observer back. Then we place a redstone lamp here, then an observer facing into this piston, then a note block here, an observer facing up with redstone dust on top, and then on the side of that dust we need to put another observer facing into this block. Then we need to come around the front, place an observer facing this way, then another one facing down, and then we go round the back again, another one facing out like this, and then finally an observer facing into this piston. So now you can come back around the front to test it again, so we have the closing, but we also have the double retraction. And that's the hardest part of the door done already. But before we can wire the top and side pistons, we need to fill in the rest of the door frame because we'll be placing some redstone on top of it. Now we come back to the input block. We place an observer here, facing outwards, and then another one on top like this. This will have a note block on top to power this piston, and then we put another observer on top like that, 
and redstone dust here to power the second piston. Now to power the top row of pistons. So first we place an observer on this dust, then a block on top, a slab behind here, redstone dust there, and then a block like that. Then we come back round the front, place a block here, redstone dust there, a repeater facing this way, and then a block on the side of that piston. And then finally we place another repeater here, and then two blocks like this, and then redstone dust here. And finally we need to power these two side pistons. So first we place an observer facing down, then a piece of redstone dust on top, that will cause this piston to spit out its block, but we can just place it back like that. And then we place a piece of redstone dust here, then another observer facing down on the side of this piston, then a repeater on top facing this way, and then a block underneath the observer. And now we can test the door one more time. So that's the closing, and that's the opening. Now if you want to add an external input, you can try this. So you place three blocks here like this, pressure plates on top, and then a note block underneath the two outer blocks. Then you place a sticky piston here with a block on its face. If you only want one pressure plate, then you can remove these two note blocks. Now we place two blocks underneath like this, then we cut out the middle one, place redstone dust here, and then a redstone block like this. This will power the redstone, but it will also redirect it towards there, which is important for later. Then we place two blocks like this, redstone dust on top, then a sticky piston facing that way, then a regular piston underneath it facing downwards, and then another sticky piston facing this way, on the side of that piston. Then we place a block on the face of this piston, a redstone block here on the face of that piston, and then we place three blocks like this cut out this one. And then finally we place redstone dust here and two more here facing into that block. What we've made here is a zero tick generator. This makes it so that there's no input delay between you standing on the pressure plate and the door triggering. And we can repeat the same thing on the other side. So we place three blocks here like this and again three pressure plates. Then two note blocks underneath on either side and then a sticky piston facing backwards. Then we place a block on the face of that sticky piston, two blocks down, cut out the middle one, and place redstone dust like that. Then we place a redstone block here to power and redirect that redstone. Then we place two blocks here, then redstone dust like that, a sticky piston, then a normal piston facing down, and another sticky piston. Then we place a block on the face of this one, and a redstone block on the face of that one. Then we place two blocks like this, redstone dust here, and then we bring this redstone line round to meet with this input block, and we place redstone dust on top of all of this. There's just one thing left to do, and that's to fill in the floor. And now we can walk through the door and test it. So it opens on this side, and then closes on this side when we go through, and we can go back through the other way, and do the same thing. And there you have it, the best 3x3 spiral door in all of Minecraft. If you found this guide useful, then a sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. As always, the world download is in the description, make sure to join my Discord server so you can get that, and hopefully I'll be back with more content soon.